Hello guys, in this video we will learn exploratory data analysis using Haverman dataset. It is a beautiful dataset guys and uh, in this dataset we will be learning entire EDA. Okay, so let's start. Basically guys, Haverman dataset, let's uh, first of all look at the high level statistics. Okay, this is the first step in EDA. While you are analyzing, while you are analyzing any data, okay, in the first step there comes high level statistics okay so let's look at the data now as we load the data first of all we are importing the libraries we are importing pandas c1 matplotlib numpy and so on okay we are importing the libraries which will be used okay now what we are assigning is that we are assigning the column name to the data we are assigning the column name as is operation year excel notes and survival status okay what this data set is all about is that basically on the basis of the features like age operation year and the axle nodes it is uh, about the survival status of the cancer patient okay this this is what the data set is all about we have to predict uh, we have to develop a model which can predict whether a cancer patient can survive or not based on the number of axle nodes operation year and his and his or her age okay we are simply assigning the column name to the data after that, what we are doing is that we are simply loading our data, haverman.csv, which we have downloaded from Kaggle, okay, and we are simply loading the, our uh, data into the pandas data frame known as haverman with no header and having uh, name is equal to column name. What is the column names? Column names are age, operation year, axle nodes, and survival status. It's far more than clear, okay. Now, when we use head uh, function here with the Haverman data frame, we get uh, the first element, Haverman head one. It keeps the first element, first row, okay, of the data set, uh, which is at uh, ID of uh, patient of having ID zero, with age 30, operation year 64, uh, 1964, uh, axle nodes one, survival status one. It means he can survive. One means, yeah, he can survive, okay. So that's what the data is all about. Now, if we look at the last data, we use tail function here. Okay, this is the last data. So we have from 0 to 305. So we have total uh, 306 uh, data points in this particular data set. So let's work on it. Now, so how many data points and features are there? We simply use save function. We saw that there are 306 rows and there are four columns, uh, which we have said earlier. Now, what are the column names in our data set? Simply use Haverman dot columns. Uh, the column name are age, operation year, axial nodes, and survival status. How many data points for each class are present? Uh, simply we use survival status dot value counts. Okay. Uh, survival status uh, is the column which is it's our uh, predicted column, and value counts represent the total number of values in this particular uh, column, where it says that. Uh, the patient, the number of patient who will survive are 225 and number of patient who will not survive are 81. Okay, so that's what it says. Now let's look at the objective finally. Our objective is basically to find and predict whether the patient will survive for the given treatment. Okay, whether he, whether he will survive or not for a given treatment, that is the objective of this particular case study. Okay, now let's look at, now after having some high level statistics, after defining our objective, the next, the third main step is univariate analysis. Now, what is univariate analysis? This univariate analysis is a type of analysis in which basically what we do is that we use one feature, we use one feature for our complete analysis. Okay, so yeah, now we will be using single single feature for analysis. Now, in this process, first of all, what we will do is that we will uh, use our PDF, which is probability density function. Uh, we will uh, plot this graph and we will see how it looks like now like basically if we plot it uh, if we plot our pdf for age okay what we will use simply we will use c library and uh, sns dot face at grid where we are taking our data frame okay and uh, we are plotting the survival status with age we can say here uh, and uh, what we are plotting we are plotting age what is the plot? It is a distribution plot, and we are simply adding the lesion. Lesion means this part. Okay, so it is the lesion part. 
Now, what is the title? PDF plot one corresponding to age feature. Okay. So when we show the plot, it's it, like it looks like this. So what are the conclusions from this plot? What do you see, guys? Okay. We see that uh, this orange part and the blue part are two overlapping with each other. Right? Orange part represents the survival status one. Sorry, blue part represents survival status one, and orange part represents survival status two. So it seems that they are highly overlapping with each other, and it seems that the people within the range of 40 to 60 are more likely to die since it is a, a completely orange area which is a dying uh, which represent that people will die for a given treatment and it also it also seen that people with age less than 40 you can see this part this part okay this part are more likely to survive since it is blue part it really it, it lies in blue region so these are the three conclusions we are getting from this particular pdf plot okay now let's look at the operation age operation year sorry again we are using the seaborn library to have our facet grid uh, to use a facet grid object here where we are calling our environment data frame alongside uh, we are having our distribution plot uh, with operation year on the x axis okay and survival status is our pdf plot okay so uh, what is the title pdf plot 2 corresponding to operation year feature so in the same way we are doing this okay nothing so fancy so what are the conclusions we are getting from here let's see again you can see there is immense overlapping between the blue and the orange sector but like between the two classes here so it is completely vague and it is clearly seen that the patient whose operation year was like in between 60 to 65 in this very particular region have died okay since uh, it indicates that it, since it indicates survival status 2 it represents that the patient whose operation year was between 60 and 65 died Okay, that's what it shows. Now let's look at the Excel nodes plot. In the same way, uh, here again you can see that the partially overlapping plots are seen here, and it's clearly representing uh, that the patient having Excel node zero, you can see Excel node zero will survive since it lies in blue region. Okay, so that's what the two conclusions we are getting from this particular plot. Now, guys. Uh, I will continue from the CDF plot from my video too. So hope you guys uh, love this video and uh, stay tuned guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any doubts till now on the high level statistics, on the objective and on the PDF part of univariate analysis, uh, leave your comments, uh, leave your doubts in the comment section. I will be more than happy to solve your queries. Thank you guys.